Hi pals, welcome to my channel, Moo Budgets. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me on yet another one of my videos. Um, <clears throat> this is a little bit of a different video for me. It's a little bit off the cuff as well, so I do apologise, but um, you can blame Budget with Kerry for this because she told me to just go ahead and do it and not pre-plan it. So, <laughs> so it might be a shambles, it might be okay. But we'll see how we go. So basically, what I am going to do today is I am going to take my Christmas binder and I'm also going to take my long-term savings binder. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some money out of house and some money out of furniture to finish off this binder. And then for the rest of the year, I can stuff house and furniture to get them back to where they are. Uh, they maybe won't get fully back to where we are, but they'll be near enough. So what we're just gonna have a quick look through, so I hope you can see that, is <clears throat> what we have and what we need. So oh, before we start, we we'll need this binder too. So I have a few birthdays in December and my boyfriend's birthday in December. So we'll start off with them. So we have, I'm just going to write it down. So we have December birthdays. So we have B, we have A, we have my boyfriend who's also an A. We have, um, and we have my brother. So that is three of my nieces and we have my brother and we also have my boyfriend. So we're going to take him, we're not going to count him just now. For this birthday, we are going to plan for £50. The reason for that is because um, it's her 17th and I want to give her a note. So she's not actually going to get a birthday present. Um, this little one is 35, but I've already got some things for this child. So I'm only going to budget 20 um, for that. And this little one, we have 35. And for my brother, I'm just going to budget 15, I think. Yeah, 15 will be enough, I think. <clears throat> we'll see. It might be a little bit more, but... Well, worry about that at the time. Um, so that is how much we need for birthdays. Let's just add that up. So we need 50 plus 20 plus 35 plus 15. So that gives us £120 needed for birthdays. We have... 15 in there so we still need we have 15 so we still need 105 pound the reason i am including birthdays in here is just so that they're done um and i can you know stop stressing about them um so that is what we need for that and then we have um my boyfriend's birthday So he currently has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. So he currently has, I want 150 for his birthday. Um, he currently has 90, so we still need 60 for that. And then <clears throat> go into the Christmas one. So Christmas itself. And this is Christmas itself. That's for all my nieces and nephews, my parents, my um, brother, his wife, my two sisters and their husband, uh, some friends, my best friend, all that kind of thing. So I needed £700 and we have £700. So that is done. My boyfriend's Christmas, I would like 200 in there. He 
currently has 120. So we still need 80 for him. Christmas food, I'm going to, so this will be for the fortnight, so it'll be for like um, Christmas Eve snacks, Christmas Day, breakfast, Boxing Day, and then the same New Year's as well. So we're going to add an extra £100 to my normal week's budget, so £50 for each event, if that makes sense. We've already got 45 so we still need 55 for that. Christmas shopping, we need two hundred. We have a hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, sixty-five, seventy. So we only need thirty to complete that. My Christmas, I would like £50. The chances of me spending it are very, very slim, to be honest with you. But I would just like it just in case. Um, and then if I get to Boxing Day or the January sales, I could maybe use it then if I wanted to. So we have £10 in there, so we still need another 40 and for the dogs Christmas, I need to make an envelope for them tonight. I would like £50. They don't really need anything, so it'll just be treats. We have zero, so we still need 50 So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the money out of my um, house and my furniture envelopes. And there's £255 in each of these. Um, so we have 210, 210, So we will start with, oh no, that's not what we need to do. So we have 510. As I said, this is going to be a shambles, so bear with. Let's see how much we actually need for all of these envelopes. So we need 105 plus 60 plus 80 plus 55 plus 30 plus 40 and plus 50. So we need 420, so we have that in this envelope, so that is a good start at least. So that would fully fund Christmas, it would still leave some left over in my uh, house and my furniture envelope. And I still have my McMoo challenge, um, which I am going to use for, um, so it's got 400 in it at the minute, and that's what I'm going to use for flooring. The rest is going to be for furniture and wallpaper. So, um, We'll still have a good start with the was that 90 pound that'll be left over okay um and if i don't use any of that it can go back in right let's just fully fund birthdays first then so for my boyfriend i said i wanted 200 so what we'll do is let's get this in And what I'll do with any placeholders, the money that's in the placeholder, I'll just transfer straight into the, the account on Hyperjar. So I hope that makes sense. Throw my calculator away. All right, so for my birth boyfriend's birthday, he needs 200. So that is now fully funded. So that is good for gifts. I need 120. 
So what I'm going to actually do is put um, 100 in there and a 20 because I probably will spend quite a bit of that on um, online for, is that right? No, I won't. I'll do money because uh, I'm going to give cash, aren't I, to one of them. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 and 20. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. So that is now birthdays for my niece's and nephew's brother and for my boyfriend. That's them fully funded for December. So we've done them. So for my boyfriend's Christmas, if we take this 20 out and put in the cash holder that gets him to his two hundred I've just realised I'm not giving my boyfriend two hundred for Christmas at all for his birthday. I should have pre planned guys I should have pre planned you're probably all shouting at the camera saying no you didn't say that 20, 40, 50, 150 for my boyfriend for his birthday. Don't like him that much. And he has 200 for his Christmas. So that's that now, right? Christmas food, we wanted... 100 so we can take all this out here and put that in and then i'll just uh, withdraw it when i do my cash stuff in so you're not seeing um from the relevant account at christmas time christmas shopping trip needs 200 so again i'll just take all that out of there Christmas shopping. My Christmas wants 50. So 20, 40, 50. And then I'll just put the dogs in with mine um, until I make the envelope. So they need 50 as well. 20, 40, 50. Hopefully we'll have £90 left when we go to count it and all that fibres I can then use for my cash stuffing. So that's for the dogs, so 50 there for them. So let's hope this is right. So we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90 pound. So what I'll now do is I will go back into house and I'll put £45 into home, 20, 30, 45 and I'll put 45 into furniture, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 into furniture and so now from now on when I work out my budget uh, for next week for my cash stuffing I will can stuff house and I can stuff furniture but I won't need to stuff at all um, any of this Christmas binder that is now all fully completed and my two birthdays are fully completed um, some people might think that you know now that I've not got my furniture envelopes but um They'll build up. I won't be able to do anything with them now until Christmas time anyway, or after Christmas time now anyway. So um, I did think about buying the furniture now because it was going out of stock. But then I decided that, that one of the things, one of the items that was going out of stock is actually what I want. There was nothing that was kind of replacing what I liked about it. 
So I'm just going to wait for it to come back into into stock, and I think it will. Yeah, it's quite a kind of like contemporary range, so I think it will come back in. But but yeah, so that is my Christmas binder now completely full. Um, I will go over it in my cash stuffing, and I'll um just go over it in the video and I'll have the other envelope for the dogs as well but it feels amazing to have Christmas completely done ready to go um at the start of November today's the first of November so it's amazing and then also knowing that I have um all the baby's birthdays ready and my boyfriend's birthday ready is just yeah, it just feels brilliant. I'm really, really, really happy. And I'm actually happy, I think, having them completely done and saving for furniture than I would be if, um, yeah, if I didn't. So I need about £80, I think, for my wallpaper, um, which technically I have. And then I think I'll need about 850 mm, maybe a 1000 for everything furniture wise so that would be a big rug for the living room floor a big cabinet for under the telly uh tables and chairs a uh, sideboard for sort of books and decorations and things plus two end tables for either side of the, the sofa you know like not coffee tables but you know like the side tables that go instead of a coffee table um because with the dogs with a big dog i couldn't have a coffee table because she would just jump over it and knock everything off it and stuff so um but yeah so i'm really happy with that i hope it wasn't too much of a shambles um and yeah thank you for watching if you got this far thank you so much for watching take care enjoy the rest of your week i'll be back with my usual stuff towards the end of the week um but yeah thank you thanks for watching take care bye bye